Welcome along to Penny Pit Park as the East Kilbride team are getting off the bus and getting ready for this away day against Preston Athletic in the Scottish Lone League. Looking to get back to winning ways and get back on the coattails of Edinburgh City in the title race for the chance to get into SPFL football next season. Preston Athletic side here who welcome East Kilbride in the lower half of the table so you'd say East Kilbride probably the favourites going into this one to pick up the three points for Preston well they've got a trials in Craig Pennycook in goal the side captained by Robert Bailey and managed by Colin Jack it is a side that uh, have always struggled for numbers in the last year or two so not a great deal of depth in this bench and uh, were beaten heavily a couple of times last season uh, by Kelby in league and cup action. For East Kilbride, they have been a bit shot shy of late. Jack Smith had a blistering start to his Kelby career. He's been a little bit dried up up front for the away side, but Bill Ogilvy still has Smith up front with Liam Gormley. Barry Russell once again captain in a left-back role today. And the, the five tons on the bench, including the likes of Hastings and Lachlan, will come on, I'm sure, in the second half to try and cause menace. Out come the sides then. Kelby and there are wee white strips, the home side press athletic and the blue tops white shorts. A good crowd filtering as well for this one. It would be a little bit of a surprise if press athletic can pick up a point or three today. Officials led by referee Stuart Luke as they go through the pre-match formalities. For East Kilbride, they really need to close the gap and maybe hope that a favour can be done elsewhere and Edinburgh City can lose. It's been a patchy run of late with the draw last week against Cumbernauld Colts and the defeat to Edinburgh City. And there's cup action round the corner as well, so a win would be vital here today. Craig Howey trying to find Smith and does find Smith. Out wide to Winter. Templeton in the mix and Templeton spectacular and just over in the end. Pennycook not quite so sure on that goal. Up towards Winter. Howey's delivery. Templeton up there again. Brady. Always oh, rising from Anton Brady. Hugh trying to link up and wants it back. He has got it back now. Oh, and how he slipped. McHugh just keeps on going. Oh, it's an absolute wreck from a Ginley goal. And Pest Athletic have the lead. 18 minutes on the clock. And well, McHugh did really well to dance his way around the defenders. Craig Howie on his backside. But head and hands, surely, of McGinley. That is a horrible error. 1 0 to the home side. Falls to Brady. Trying to work some sort of speed to get a shot away. Russell's delivery. One or two calls for handball of McSherry. Bailey the captain up long. Now down by Gilchrist. It's left for Porter. He's got away from Kerr. Porter's through and Porter's in and Press Athletic have profited again. It's 2-0 to the home side and there's a real shock brewing in the Lone League this afternoon. It was left for Kerr to deal with. He just didn't do it. Porter in first. McGinley had to come out and was Horribly going to be second in that race. And it's great stuff for the home side, for their fans. They have a two-goal cushion. Kelly have to come from behind again. And we've got a bit of Ovi down there is thinking. He looks shell-shocked, absolutely shell-shocked due to the Kelby coaching team. We'll have to come back from behind again if we're going to get back into this one. Here is Kerr. Morris maybe certainly at fault for just completely leaving that goal. 
Russell, the captain, will have to re-energise his side. It's the long ball forward towards Smith. And tugged back by Jamie Todd, and the referee's given a penalty straight away. Well, that's one way to get back into the game. A little tug back, possibly a little soft. Smith went clatter onto the floor, but the referee's given it, and here's the chance for McBride. Oh, it's a good stop for him, Pennycook. The trialist may well be earning himself a contract after that save. It was a powerful penalty, but the keeper just did really well. Good turning away from Gormley, but loses out in the end to Bailey, the captain. Gilchrist didn't help his team out, and Brady marches on. He's got Smith in support. Cherry came in. Templeton! Thunderous effort, which he's known to do. McBride's delivery. Hooked away by Gilchrist, and that's half time. What can you say? It's been a really patchy form of late for East Kilbride, and they are two adrift at the break. They've been behind many a time this season, too many times, probably in Billy Ogilvie's mind. Big team top needed. Preston Athletic 2, East Kilbride 0. And the Blue Jerseys get this underway for the second period. Come back down the throats of East Kilbride and might fall here. Oh, it still could fall. Again, not comprehensive defending. I think how he was on a blame there. Southern Wales was Morris and now Winter. Punched out by the keeper, Penny Cook. Brady still trying to collect it. And then Preston do enough. Martin finds Nicholson. Look at this for one end of the pitch, the other. This time McGinley stops and holds on to it. Falls only as far as Gavin Lachlan. A substitute. Russell to the left and goes with Barry Russell. On oh, just over, Sean Winter. Glaring chance for 2 1. Nicholson. 3 0, that would be job done for Preston. And they've got the ball through here. Could play it right across, and somehow it's drawn its way behind James Martin. I think there was a nick or two in the way through. Winter. Smith, Russell, on oh, Winter it's bobbling around and it's going to be a corner. Kerr, Wacklin, Russell, and just away from Gormley, another corner, says the referee. So many chances here for Kelby. Here's Smith now. Gormley. Brady. Russell! And what a fabulous stop from Pennycook. Bride's lover again. Winter with the header. Might get a second go at this. Bride take two. It's fizz right in. Over from Liam Gormley. Time just running out. Ginley up long. Brady. Out wide. Now Smith. Oh, it's off the crossbar. There's Russell. And he couldn't keep it down. Jack Smith Barry Russell, another, another second half chance. Getting quickly here. By McBride, that's okay. Keeper gets his hands on it again. And Press Athletic gets it away again. Brady. Flag goes up, but Winter's fine, so the flag goes straight back down. I think it's confused. Preston Winter still goes 
on Karen there. Another chance. Another smuggle away. McBride to take again. The fall to the other side with Sean Winter. Lachlan. Winter to deliver a ball across. It's a poor one. Russell. So he's to switch it. And that's over from Craig Heavy. McBride. Oh, and there's a free header. Craig Hastings was so reliable off the bench for a goal, not today. Oh, that's off the post and the follow up from Bryden. Gimli, I'm to stop that time. And Josh Kerr's making a mess of this, and it's going to be a throw in. It's full time anyway, it's over. And well, hats off to Press Athletic for the defence of what they've had to do in the second half. It's been all Kilby for the majority of this game. But the two goals in the first half, a couple of them, you could say, you know, in parts down to defensive mistakes. The first one certainly down to McGinley's error and goal. But McHugh with some good individual and Portra made it too. Again, probably a, a slip in the defence really. And um, certainly not what Billy Ogilvie would deem as great defending. But they hung on and dug in. East Kilbride is more ground, you could say, lost in a way. Uh, Edinburgh City lost to Dalvidi Star by a goal to nil. Uh, so no ground lost to them as such. But there was a fantastic chance to close the gap with the result at Dalbiti. Elsewhere, BSC 2, Vale even 1. Spartans, Galfield and Rovers was off. And Southern Uni 3, Whitetail Welfare 1. So with the two defeats at the top of the table, it concertinas everything up, which is, you know... Not a great thing if you're in East Kilbride perspective because you're looking over shoulders as well as looking above. Edinburgh City are nine points clear with a game played more. East Kilbride are in second, two clear of Whitetail Welfare. Spartans and Southern University are all within touching distance as well as WD Stan. Even Selkirk and Cumbernauld Colts still in the mix. Press Athletic move up to 14 points. Three even at the bottom stuck on three. It's been a dramatic day in the only once again. And it's why we love the division. I mean, not from East Kilbride's score perspective to date. For Kelby, things change to the Cup next week. This Saturday, it's the game uh, against home against Forest Mechanics, a Lowland against Highland League battle. Do get yourself down there and enjoy the action of the second round of the Cup. But from us, from producer and cameraman David Craig, also Rob Blunder, assistant, and myself, Carl Patterson, we'll see you next time. <laughs>